I was looking for um, people I could connect with. And that's what I found by being here. And I've been here for over oh, five years now. I think it's one of those things where you think it's going to be a bit difficult at first and you're going to have a struggle coming in and talking to people, but people are only too happy to talk to you and the staff here uh, make you feel really at home and make you feel wanted. So it's, that's great from that point of view. A lot of people, especially in my generation, get really trapped in these kind of minimum wage jobs that are long hours and take a real toll, like not just physically, but emotionally as well. And coming to Fabrica was a way for me to escape that um, and to do something that I was doing because I wanted to do it and because I was interested in it. I feel that you learn a lot from volunteering. You are also, I work like working within a community. So you're meeting different groups of community individuals and a community as a whole. And you can also get involved in different activities. It's been nice being involved. You feel you're involved in something which is worthwhile. And um, some of the exhibitions have been great. Some, some have been not quite as far as I was concerned. People had more, tr more trouble communicating than in other ones. Other ones, they come up to you and chat to you. So it's quite interesting to get different points of view. It's really helped me to develop my confidence and the realisation that the skills I already had from doing minimum wage jobs were transferable. So I've been able to use them here and like really gain confidence in them and realise that I can put them towards work in other areas. I have been able to meet the artist. I've been able to communicate with the artist. Again, I feel that this is one of place where you can meet artists. One of the projects I've been involved with is If These Walls Could Talk, which is a book which is coming out on the 25th anniversary, which is September this year. So we've been involved in that, which has been great. And it's taught me an awful lot about the history of Brighton and, and the history of the church as it was over 200 years and, and the way it's developed into Fabrica and the art gallery. So hopefully when the book comes out, um, it'll be something solid to look back on and say, this is what we did, which is great. Part of my desire to get involved in the arts world was one that I was really interested in learning about the entire process um, because sometimes, especially when you're from a background that like culturally isn't super interested in going to galleries and going to museums, when you go and see art in the museum, you kind of feel like it's not for you. But once I started learning more about the artists that were behind this kind of stuff and the meaning that they put into it, I realised that, you know, people like me do have a place in this industry and it's up to us to give our voices and make them heard. There's no stress in coming here. That's, that's another thing. It's relaxed, it's friendly, it's welcoming. And I think for me, it's like almost coming back to, you know, going visiting a friend or a family, but you're meeting different people all the time. I think a lot, a lot of people, when they're volunteering, um, just from experience in the last few years, uh, are never quite sure if they're doing the right thing. They don't know if they're going to be wanted or needed. And um, am I getting in the way here? And I think that I would I would say to anybody, just give it a go because it's going to be something, not everybody's going to love it, but it's something I really enjoy doing, volunteering. So now I'm doing an MA in curating collections and heritage at Brighton. Um, so I never would have done that if I didn't start volunteering in the first place. So. In the future, I hope that I can use this degree and use all of this knowledge and just um, put it towards stuff that I think is really important, like opening up the art sector for a much wider audience. <laughs>